addicted PlayStation Call of Duty player. No, I'm just kidding. Well, I'm an uh, addicted uh, Call of Duty and uh, you can see my inspiration was the movie poster Expendables and uh, this is one of a few self-shots uh, what I did. Um, I'm not a good model. But anyway, um, in this uh, video tutorial, I like to explain you a very nice effect, how you can get a little bit more details, how you can bring back details in the shadows. And no, I'm not talking about the freaky, amazing detail technique. I like to show you a very interesting technique, what you can do with HDR toning. So let's get started. This is my image and you can see we have uh, many different layers here. They are all named in German, by the way. And here is yeah, the uh, Calvin original file. But um, the problem is what I like to do now is I like to apply HDR toning. And you can find this command in the adjustments, but you can't apply it on a group. You can't apply it on an adjustment layer. It's a little bit difficult. So what you have to do is you have to merge all the layers together. And you can do this by clicking layer here, um, flatten image, but this is not good because when you choose this command, you will have only one layer. Take a look. If we, oh, where are all the layers? I mean, I like to have all the layers. So this is not a good idea. What we can do is we can flatten the image on top of the layers panel here. And this is very easy to do. You can do this with a shortcut by pressing Shift Alt Command E. And if you don't like to use shortcuts, you can choose Select, Select All, Edit, Copy Merged, and then you have to choose Edit paste and it's the same like flatten image but you bring everything on top and you still have all your layers and this is a much better way and uh, i don't know um how many people or how many of you guys did not know this uh shortcut or this um, technique but very simple to do and i highly recommend it before you flatten the image because now you have all the layers all right what I like to do now is I like to apply HDR toning because HDR toning is a very cool uh, feature or a very cool effect or technique to bring more details uh, back in the picture. So let's choose adjustments, HDR toning. And then, oh my God, Photoshop is back and Photoshop tells me I have to flatten the document. And this is something what I explained before. I don't like to flatten the document. But what can I do now? I can click no. And where is my HDR toning? And I can, I can try it again, HDR toning. And I can click yes. I can click, come on, Photoshop, please give me other option. So what I have to do now is I have to click yes. Don't worry, I figured out a way how you can bring back all the layers. But for now, let's apply HDR toning. All right, this is the preset HDR toning. And while I don't like the preset so much, I mean, the saturation to plus 20, I don't like it, so I'll bring it down a little bit. There are two sliders what I use most of the time. The first slider what I use most of the time is the gamma slider. If you bring the gamma slider more to the right side, you will uh, get more details in the shadows and in the highlights. And I love this slider. Take a look. I know... Uh, for now, on this stage, it looks not perfect, but uh, we have more sliders here. We have the detail slider, but don't use it too much. Uh, otherwise, I will not look good. So that's not so good. So the detail slider, let's choose plus 10 or plus 15, something around this. Okay, now we have more details in the image. Everything looks a little bit flat, but don't worry. We will work on this later. If you work with the latest Photoshop version, you will have a button here, smooth edges. Sometimes it's a little bit uh, better when you click on this and yeah, you have a little bit more smooth edges. Let's play around here a little bit with the details, maybe a little bit more. This is good. You can also change the exposure a little bit, the shadows, highlights, but I like to do that later in Photoshop. For now, everything looks fine because I have more details in the image. So let's click OK. But I have this effect now on one layer. I don't like to apply this effect with 100% opacity. So what can I do right now? 
It's very simple. It's a very cool trick. What you have to do is you have to select all and you have to edit, copy this image to your clipboard. I don't know where this image right now is anywhere on your computer, but you have it. And if you go back in time now by clicking on edit, step backward one more time and one more time, you have all the layers back. And what you can do right now is edit paste. <laughs> and now I have this HDR effect on my own layer. Now I can change the opacity for bringing back the details. But there is one more thing what I highly recommend when you work with this HDR toning effect. Because the image looks very flat. Of course, you can apply uh, adjustment layer, curve or levels. But there is another adjustment layer where you can uh, darken the blacks in the image very, very good. And this is the selective color adjustment layer. Let's apply this and then go into the colors into the blacks. And right here with the last slider, if you bring this slider to the right side, you can darken only the blacks in the image. And this is something what looks very, very interesting um, after you applied HDR toning. All right. So. I don't um, like to have or uh, this adjustment layer, so I merge it down to my HDR toning effect. And here's my HDR toning effect. And now I can change the opacity just a little bit to bring back the details into the image. And this is the uh, way how I use HDR toning. And we have all the layers. Um, there's another way what you can do with smart object to keep all the layers here. But um, this version, what I showed you in this video, is for me the easiest version, easy to understand for a beginner, for a professional retoucher. So everybody can do this. So give uh, them a try. Try HDR toning, but uh, try it on an image where you have a lot of details. Um, uh, try it on flat images and uh, don't try it on images where you have a face shot on a white seamless background. That will not work so good. Maybe if you like to make the skin horrible, then it works. But this is not the goal, I think. So um, try it with a landscape shot, try it with a shot of a building or with a bad boy, what you can see here. All right. This was uh, my way of using HDR toning for getting more details. And uh, I hope you like it. And uh, don't forget, I appreciate every support. So like this video, share this video, subscribe my channel, do what you like.